Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Debbie. This is my Crafty Dan and I have a little wee Dollarama haul today to share with you for my Friday's finds video. So I have a very small Dollarama haul to share with you for my Friday haul video. And yeah, it's not very big, but I did find a few things that have been on my list and I found a few things that were unexpected as well. So the first thing that I'm going to share with you is So the first thing I'm going to share with you is this. It was $4.75 and it is a throw rug. It's not very big, guys. Like it really isn't very big. Does it have even a size on here? Um, yeah, it's so small it doesn't even have a size on here. So I didn't buy it for a rug. It's like the size of the smallest little bath mats that you can get. And this has got some backing on here. It's kind of a faux leathery backing on here, but it is, and it's, it's been stitched around the edge. So all this is, is cut and stitched around the edge. But if you guys make gnomes, you'll know that this is why I bought this. For $4.75, it's a large size chunk of faux fur. And look at how nice and thick and long this faux fur is. So I will definitely put this in my stash because the only faux fur I have in a white, or and this isn't a pure white, it's a creamy white, so that's even better. But the only bit of faux fur I have is a little wee roll that is only two inches wide. So just a very small strip. I couldn't make anything very big with it, but this, I can make a larger sized gnome with this because I can cut a larger sized beard out of this. And this is going to do quite a few pieces. And I like making little gnomes to set on my coffee bar for different holidays and things like that, or just little gnomes to stick in here and there with other decor. And I also like to gift them. So I got myself some, I mean, this is, this doesn't have that um, plasticky feel. This is more like a rug. So it's probably a better quality too. But this has got more of a, you want to curl your toes in it, a soft, soft feeling where the other bit of faux fur that I got has a plasticky feel, a more of a, of a silicone based feel to it. This is much softer than that. So if you see these, this is just called a throw. This just says throw rug on here. D Maison. Um, that's what the label looks like right there. And it's four seventy five. dollars Now on here, it shows like an animal skin with the different edging on that picture. But it's not like that. It's just... It's just got straight edges. It's a rectangle, guys. It's just a rectangle. And just so that you know, I'll, I'm just going to grab a ruler here and see if I can really quick get a measurement off of this for you. So it is 12, almost 24 inches by... So this is about 16 by 24 inches. So it's a it's a decent size of faux fur for that price. So I picked that up. I did it again, guys. I just grabbed a bunch I grabbed a bunch of chocolate bars again. So these ones here I picked up are three for a dollar and they're just a wafer, you know, the layered wafer with the chocolate in between. 
Um, it says milk chocolate coated hazelnut cream wafer. So three for a dollar. Good buy. These were good. Um, you were wondering about these when I bought them because I hadn't tried them when I shared them the last time. But yeah, my husband said these are pretty good. They're gone already. And I added a couple of more of these to our stash. So all three of these brands are two for a dollar. So I'm just stocking that drawer up. Um, when you got two grown men that have a sweet tooth, you keep a lot of bars. So I got those. I picked up a couple of mugs. These were three, three dollars a piece. These have, I don't have a single mug for Remembrance Day. And these have poppies on them. And they're so beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And they're, they're a big round this way. Um, and, and shorter, but they're still going to hold a ton. They're a 15 ounce mug for $3. These are Casa Moderna. That's the brand. They have a lot of this brand at Dollarama. And so I picked up two of them to go on my coffee bar in the fall when I start to decorate for November, because that's usually the theme that I go with then is poppies and this is the first time I've ever seen these mugs so whether they've had them before and I just didn't see them or not but these are beautiful so I picked up two of these on last week's haul I hauled one of these chenille knitting yarns. Um, now, no, on last week's haul, I grabbed some yarn for $3. I think it was $3 as well. This is a chenille knitting yarn, but I, I got it because of the color. This color, there's a lot of this color in my house. A lot of these soft muted colors in my decor. So I just thought sometimes you're looking for a piece of yarn or a piece of twine and you're looking for something in a really neutral muted color. I just thought this would be perfect and I haven't stocked up on strings and yarns and twines and things like that for a long time. So my last few hauls, I've had a few of these types of things in them. So I got that. And then I hauled the full size of this sketchbook last week, two weeks ago, maybe now, um, or even a little longer than that. But I hauled the large sized sketchbook book, and this one was $3 and it's tiny, but I grabbed it specifically for the paper. And I'm thinking of taking this apart. I'm going to deconstruct this whole book, I think, because these are little, um, little, when you're looking at the spine of this, it looks like a whole bunch of little signatures put in here. But this is the exact size of the notebook that goes into my everyday carry traveler's notebook that I use as a wallet. And I'm hoping there's some way to deconstruct this and use the, the signatures for small little notebooks and shopping lists in my wallet. I don't have to cut the size down this way at all because my 
wallet, my everyday carry takes a three and a half by a five and a half. And this is three and a half by five and a half exactly I didn't measure it in the store but I did take my wallet out of my purse and measured it against the notebook that was in my wallet and it was a perfect fit so it was three dollars for this tiny little notebook I mean there's a lot of pages in here but 288 pages in here but I just really like the paper that I used in my other one So I bought it for the paper again. Sometimes it's just easier to buy paper already in a notebook than it is to just buy paper. So I got that. And I stocked up again while I was there because they had a ton of these in the store that I was in. I grabbed five of these to put in my stash. These are just the composition notebooks, wide ruled, 180 pages, um, just composition notebooks for $1.50 each. So I don't have to buy any more. I had four or five. I think I had five, but I want to do more projects with these coming up. Last year, I had on my list four different projects to do with composition notebooks, and I couldn't find any. And other than ordering them off of Amazon, where they cost quite a bit more money, because I bought two um, off of Amazon, and they were about $4.75 each. These are a buck and a half. So I got five for less than what it cost me to buy two off of Amazon. So that that's that's a steal. So I got those and that is everything. And that is everything off of my and that's everything out of my bag. I told you it wasn't a very big haul. Um yeah, but I did I'm not buying anything that I don't absolutely have a plan for. So, yes, being very picky. And February is no spend February for me. I'm going to try to do every other month this year as no spend. So I have not. So I want to make sure by the end of January that I have everything that I need to do all my February projects. My plan is. I'm going to craft with my stash. If I don't have something, I'll add it to my list and go looking for it. But I want to spend less this year. So that that's my plan. I plan on only buying the things that I have a plan for ahead of time. No just off the shelf purchases and putting it in my stash and hoping I'll come up with an idea for it later because I have a lot of stuff in my stash because of that. So I have to use that now. So, so yeah, so this year is my goals this year are to spend less, save more. So my budget for crafting, and I'm hoping part of my crafting budget goes back into my savings at the end of each month. And I'm going to do no spend every other month and see what happens, just to see what happens. So there won't be a whole bunch of hauls and things like that in February, unless it's just because I'll still shop at Dollarama for food and snacks and things like that. So I'll share those with you. And uh, and definitely take some pictures when I'm in there in case there's something that I think you guys should see. But I don't have to purchase it to show you that it's there. I'm just going to take a picture and share it. So that's the new plan for the future. So that's my new plan for my upcoming spending as well. So I hope you enjoyed this little haul. If you did, give it a thumbs up. That's the best thing that you can do to help my channel. Just give it a thumbs up. It takes one second and it's free. Also, if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love if you did that before you left so you can come back and see what I'm up to next. See what I'm using some of this stuff for. 
and I'll see you all in the next one. Until then, have a wonderful day, everyone. Bye-bye for now.